Kelly, Sandra Day O'Connor's nomination in 1981 by President Ronald Reagan and subsequent confirmation by the Senate ended 191 years of male exclusivity on the high court. Considered a voice of moderate conservatism on the court, she retired in 2006. Along the way, she is remembered for, among other things, refusing in 1989 to join four other justices who were ready to reverse the landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade decision, stating later that while some of us as individuals find abortion offensive to our most basic principles of morality, that cannot control our decision and that our obligation is to define the liberty of all, not to mandate our own moral code. O'Connor was also part of that 5-4 to four majority that effectively resolved the disputed 2000 presidential election in favor of George W. Bush over Democrat Al Gore. O'Connor remained the court's only woman until 1993 when Ruth Bader Ginsburg was appointed and today the court includes a record four women. Five years ago, the judge announced that she had been diagnosed with dementia. She died at her home in Phoenix of complications related to advanced dementia and respiratory illness. On your side in the newsroom, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.